Guten Tag. It's time to do the do. The doofy do. Talk through of Sheer and the Wander, episode 7. Last episode, there was a purple cock in my face. And I was getting ready to slap it around. Remember when I talked about power-up scrolls? These are the two floors you have to use them, and this is why. You really want to be strong enough. Oh, a fluffy bunny is healing the cock. Fluffy Bunny, probably my second most hated enemy. Because they're just so happy. Like, oh! Looks like your cock got hurt! I'll take care of another one! Ah! Alright, hopefully that's the last one. This cock just will not go down. <laughs> that reminds me, I sometimes call those fluff fur bunnies, for obvious reasons. What, because they're so furry? Note that that army cock gave me 400 experience, which is a ton at this point in the game. If you can't two hit it, it becomes a little rubber chicken that only gives you one experience. Green walrus can split, as I said earlier, so we're not gonna mess with it. Just give it a sacrificial arrow to steal. There are a lot of enemies in Shirin that attack with their head, but this chainhead enemy actually has his head in his hands on a chain and he throws it at you. I don't know what it is with the enemy designer and heads attacking. Probably suffered some head trauma as a child. That enemy was actually something called a young Tengu that pretends to be other enemies on the floor. Anytime you can't walk through a hallway, usually it means there's an invisible enemy in front of you. Oh yes, that's right, there are invisible enemies in this game. That's one of the reasons it's very dangerous to just speed heal after you step on a big landmine trap. A rookie mistake is to step on a landmine trap, go down to 1 HP, look around and say, Oh, there's no enemies in the room, I'll just hold down A and B. But actually, there's an invisible enemy in the room that attacks you and you die. When you could have just pressed your Cairo. Unlike in real life, it's good to have a big belly in Shirin. Then you don't get hungry as quickly. Just as a disclaimer, I call those army cocks not because I'm making fun of the army. I have great respect for our armed forces. But uh, they do have four arms, so they're very army. Get it? Cuckoo-cachoo, senor word bank. I should just leave this thing alone, but I'm going to go after it and get my arrow back. If it did split, the other walrus that split off would immediately steal something and then warp away, which can cause a lot of trouble. Everyone has hilarious stories of deaths in Shirin, but one of my funniest ones is I was in a thief house, which is a monster house full of walruses and thieves, and the walrus stole my shield because I had it unequipped for some reason. So I ran around attacking it and it kept splitting and stealing more stuff until finally I had like nothing. I was completely naked in a room full of walruses. And I just died the next floor of course because I had no items. You can see these chain heads are doing a lot of damage to me and if I wasn't powered up and just had to go toe to toe or rather head to head with them they would eat up all of my Cairo presses really quickly. Oh, farfig nougan, a pitfall trap. That means I have to start another level all over again. And when you're in the Table Mountain part of the main game, you're actually climbing up. So a pitfall trap makes you have to replay a level. You know what? Multiplication trap. Uh... Screw you guys, I'm going home. Forget the loot. Later, dude. You also saw a rotten trap on that last floor. Ouch. Hmm, that was dumb. Alright, I should have pressed the Cairo a turn ago because if there was an invisible enemy in this room, I could have been dead last turn. This guy, ah, oh, finally. Ah. <sighs> I have an iron shield and they're still doing a lot of damage. If I didn't have a good shield, I would be using my items a lot more often, like I'm going to use it right now. And that was a young Tengo, so I wasted that charge, but it's okay. You'll notice I sometimes slash before I walk into a room. I'm checking for a trap. Remember there was a sleeping trap at the entrance to a room before 
You do not want to fall asleep right when you walk into a room. From now on, pretty much any enemy by itself could just kill you in probably three turns. Alright, let's get out of here so I don't get ganked. And I don't want to waste another Kyra press. I'll go ahead and try to slow down this enemy. Hopefully it's not another young Tengu. Nope. So 200 experience is quite a lot too. Oh, log to the face, my favorite trap. It's just so random. Walking down the hall. Just imagine if you're walking down the street and suddenly there's like a log flying into your face. A log to the face can be used to go across the room in a hurry. That mode of transportation never really took off though. Kind of like the Segway. I don't know why. I would use log to the face. Wait. I should probably stop saying log to the face. That's kind of a vaguely sexual connotation. <laughs> Everything in Sharon is kind of like a sex joke. Hmm. I should, I should totally clean this up. This is, after all, a family show. Finally, a shop. Sheeran is a rare game in which actually shopping is very stressful. You can imagine, remember that skull mage that could teleport? If you were looking at an item and you hadn't paid for it, anytime you leave this room, the game assumes you're trying to steal the item. So. If a skull mage teleports you out of the room and you're holding on to something you haven't paid for, uh, the shopkeeper is going to kill you right away. The room's going to be full of dogs and the sheriff. It's almost impossible to get away unless you really, really plan a theft carefully. In fact, I like to pick up something even if I'm not going to buy it almost immediately when I go into a room so an enemy doesn't follow me in. Especially like a tank or a... Jar Bandit, any enemy that can just destroy things on the ground, you do not want it in the shop with you. You noticed I threw my change jar at the wall to crack it open earlier. Whenever you throw a jar at the wall, make sure two things are not true. Make sure you do not have a pitcher's armband on, because that will mean everything you throw goes away forever through the wall. And you also want to make sure there's enough empty space for the number of items that are in the jar. So, for instance, if you threw a jar in a storehouse and you had covered all the spaces on the floor but one, three of the items in a four-item jar would just vanish forever because there's only enough room for one item on the floor. So you don't want to throw a jar anywhere where it's like cramped, like in a passageway or in a room where all the spaces on the floor are taken up with items. I bought a blast shield. Blast shield makes exploding enemies only do half as much, also mine, so that is a very useful item. Especially when you're dealing with spiky bombs, or you have to step on something that's going to explode, or tanks. I really want to buy this twisty honey meat. It's going to turn any monster I throw the meat at into one of those shaved cactuses. That'll be my backup plan for the boss of the game. But, uh, I don't have quite enough money. I'm gonna have to look for something to sell. I know I've got something to sell. I only need, like, 180 more. This polearm plus four, do I really need it? I mean, the chance of me needing a spare weapon... Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Pick up this meat. And perfect, 187. 2008, a bad year for the stock market. Alright, well, clean me out, but I have a lot of awesome items now. And uh-oh, I am so strong now that I'm actually turning the army cocks into rubber chickens with one hit. So I'm missing out on all that 400 experience I could be getting. Might as well go to the next floor. And again... Purple army cog in my face, deja vu all over again. It's a good time to quit. We'll slap the second cock around next episode on Sheeran the Wanderer.
I've been through Canyon Hamlet. I've been through Cedar Woods. I crossed a rope bridge for a jar of holding. I went through old mines filled with exploding spines. And I'm still looking for a jar of holding. And more loot to hold. I was completely naked in a room full of walruses.